Auntie, why? Why are you doing this to me? Do you know what you are doing? You are really hurting my feelings, Richie. Richie. <laughs> why do you have to support your mom, Richie? Do you know what you are like? You are really hurting my feelings. You are really hurting me. You have to support me. <laughs> I should support you. Maybe you don't understand what you are saying. You just don't understand what you are saying. At initially, I was on your side. I was supporting every single thing you were saying. But after sitting down and realizing how stupid I have been, there is no need even seconding you on anything. Huh? Can you give birth? No, you can't. We've been married for three years and still counting. Not even a single pregnancy. But you know, I made this decision because I love you and I wanted us to to have kids when we are ready. That's oh. why I, I agreed on we getting an abortion. Don't don't just say you agreed. May, may, see, when, when, you are, when you are talking to me, be plain. Say you, you brought it up. You suggested we do an abortion. And the abortion has led to you not being able to give birth now. Say it. And yeah, so, we both agreed on this. And we so, both agreed to have an abortion. So why are you doing this? Why, who it why are you doing this to me? I beg, spare me that. Spare me that at all. I was just spare me that. <laughs> you know what? Both of us weren't ready to have a children at that time. We were both in high school. Richie. And so, so you, like, just imagine me bring getting pregnant, then coming to school, and you being a father at that time, Richie. It doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that you you, you can't give birth now. We are, that was in the past. We are talking about now. The past is not the future. The past is not the present. But we are talking about agree now. to get an abortion. For the... oh, we both agree. You think you are going to cry and get emotional for me to probably support you? You can't give birth. You are barren. I, I never knew just one abortion. I know barren. Calling me a barren woman. I know barren. I never knew just one abortion can cost a woman to be barren. You only did just one abortion. Oh, maybe it. Maybe you were doing the abortion sometime before we even met. Maybe it was something you used to do. Because what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that you were doing abortions before we you met. You know this is a false ac accusation. You know I was a virgin when we met. So why are you saying I was already aborting? Uh, Pregnancy before I met you. How would I know you were a virgin? You only told me you were a virgin. And you made me believe you were a virgin at that time. But I proved myself to be a virgin. You were the one who broke my virginity. So why are you saying I was aborting pregnancy at that time before mm. we, we met? Me? When we were doing it first time, did I even see any blood? Don't bring yourself, woman. <laughs> Don't bring yourself at all. You were doing abortions, and the number of babies you've killed, only God knows. And now you are facing the consequences for your stupid acts those days. And you know, my um, parents were very straight. Me getting pregnant will get me into trouble, and you will be in the greatest trouble. So why, why are you saying this? You have to support me. Is that why you had to walk to me? I was enjoying my peace when you walked. If you think you are done, just leave. But you know, you, sh you shouldn't be supporting your mom in this situation. Because I also want to be a mom. I also want to have my own children. I want, I want a child who will call me a mom. So you shouldn't even support your mom in this situation. You have to support me, me being your wife. Because it also hurts me. It also breaks my heart. You know, I did, I did the abortion because of, because of our future. Because even even if I didn't do a, the abortion, do you think we could be here by now? Like you know, you know, my dad too was an officer, police officer, and he could have arrested you, could have landed you in prison. So you should support me and not your mom. The thing is, if you don't give me a child, if you don't give my mommy a grandchild, count your count this marriage off. Count this marriage off because I wouldn't I wouldn't tolerate a woman who has done several abortions in her past. You know this <clears throat> you know the abortion we did was just once. You and who did once. it was just once, yes. 
with me. You did just once with me, but you had done more before. So how come you are barring? How come you can't give birth now? And you if know it was what just you are one. saying is not true. You know what you are saying is not true. So why are you are keeping? Listen, what? get serious here. Get serious here. Nonsense. Just one abortion. Just one abortion. One abortion has rendered you barren. Viewers, are you really siding with her? How can one abortion render somebody barren? I believe she's done more and more abortions. Am I am I not right? You can ask, you can ask, you, you, you the viewers, you can judge it yourself. Who is right here? I agreed with my husband to get an abortion because we were in a high school. And my my parents were very strict. And he, he could have even landed him in, in prison. Now he's making sides with her mom to get a grandchild from me. And I also want a child, but now I can't give birth. I need his support. And he's supporting his mom instead. So in this case, who is right?